Hello students, in this video we are going to study a very important parameter of pharmacokinetics that is half-life of a drug. Now this video is 13th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now half-life of a drug is the time taken for the plasma concentration of the drug to reduce to half of its original value. Uh, for example, half-life of aspirin is 4 hours. Now let's uh, try to understand this concept of half-life. Now look at this. Uh, figure. This is the uh, uh, time versus plasma concentration of a drug curve. Now uh, let's say that uh, the drug is administered orally. Now after the oral administration of drug, uh, the drug is absorbed in the systemic circulation. So it takes two hours for the drugs for the drug to reach its maximum plasma concentration uh, that is 10 milligram per liter. Now, second part of the curve shows a fall in the plasma concentration of the drug. Now, as we all know that once a drug is absorbed in the blood, it's distributed throughout the body tissues and it is also eliminated from the body. So, the plasma concentration of the drug falls. Now, the half-life of a drug uh, is uh, also termed as T-half. It is represented as T-half. Now, it took three hours. Uh, it took three hours uh, for the plasma concentration of drug to fall from 10 milligram per liter to 5 milligram per liter. That is half of the original plasma concentration. Therefore, the half life of the drug is three hours. Now, in another three hours, uh, the plasma concentration of the drug falls from 5 milligram per liter to 2.5 milligram per liter. So this can be termed as the second T half. Now after this in the another 3 hours the plasma concentration of drug falls from 2.5 milligram per liter to 1.25 milligram per liter. So this can be termed as to be the uh, third half life. So in this example half life of the drug is 3 hours. And it takes around 3 to 5 half-lives for a drug to get completely eliminated from the plasma. So, 95% of the drug is eliminated in 3 to 5 half-lives. So, concept of half-life is essential to determine elimination of drug from the body. Uh, secondly, look at this figure. When a drug is administered repeatedly, uh, let's, let's say repeatedly, uh, by oral administration. So the drug is administered repeatedly as per the dosage frequency that is uh, once a day or twice a day or thrice a day. So when it is administered repeatedly the drug starts accumulating in the body until a balance is attained between the administration of drug and the elimination of drug. Now once this balance is made uh, the amount of drug, that is the amount of drug entering the body becomes equal to the amount of drug being eliminated. The concentration, uh, the concentration of drug in the plasma uh, becomes fixed and it is termed as steady state plasma concentration. So, half-life of a drug determines the time taken by the drug to reach the steady state plasma concentration. Now, apart from this, knowledge of uh, half-life is essential to determine uh, frequency of dosing of a drug. That means at what interval drug is to be administered. That is once daily, twice daily, every 8 hours, every 6 hours, etc. Longer is the half-life of a drug, less frequently the drug is to be administered. So, this is in brief on uh, the concept of half-life of a drug and uh, the significance of the half-life of a drug. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.